We have a 2011 Dodge Charger. We're gonna go through the steps in replacing the fuel pump. We'll start by bleeding the pressure off the system using our pressure relief valve on our gauge. Be sure and capture fuel into a safe container. Before beginning any repair, disconnect the negative battery cable. Remove the rear seat and disconnect electrical connections to gain access to the fuel pump module. In this application, the primary pump is on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Remove the fuel pump cover and disconnect the electrical connection. Using a non-ferrous brass punch, turn the locking ring counterclockwise. Inspect the locking ring to make sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. As you remove the fuel pump module flange, disconnect the electrical connection. Disconnect the high pressure line and the two transfer lines from the module assembly. Keep in mind you're working within a closed environment. Make sure that you have adequate ventilation. Remove the module assembly from the tank. Keep in mind the reservoir will hold residual fuel. Be sure and capture this in a safe container. At this point we need to drain the remaining fuel into a safe container and then clean the inside of the tank. We want to be sure the tank is as clean as possible to allow a clean environment for the fuel pump. It's important to properly diagnose your fuel system before replacing any components. In this particular application, there is actually two module assemblies, each with their own unique characteristics. The primary unit, which is located on the left-hand side of the vehicle, you have the electric fuel pump and ascending unit. In the secondary unit, which is located on the right-hand side of the vehicle, you have a sending unit, a pressure regulator, and supply hoses. Incorrect fuel pressure or inaccurate fuel level can be attributed to either one of these module assemblies. In this application, it's critical to properly diagnose the complete fuel system. With the inside of the tank thoroughly cleaned, we're ready to install the new Airtex fuel pump. With the new module in location, reattach the transfer lines, and the high pressure line. Position the tank seal into its location in the top of the tank. Partially install the flange and reconnect the electrical connections. As you lower the flange assembly into place, be sure that the locating pins are properly positioned into the lower module assembly. With the flange fully seated, install the locking ring, turning it clockwise, making sure that the locating tabs are fully seated. Reconnect the electrical connection and install the fuel pump cover. Install the lower seat cushion, making sure to reconnect the electrical connections. With the repair complete, add fuel to the tank. Reattach the negative battery cable. It's normal for a push button start system to have an extended crank after a fuel system repair. With the vehicle started, Monitor fuel pressure, making sure it's within vehicle specifications. Now before we remove our pressure gauge, we'll shut the vehicle off and bleed the pressure using our pressure gauge, making sure to capture any fuel into a safe container. 